number 46 46 uh, brothers and sisters this mass is offered for the following intentions for late Arukya Swami offered by Selva and family Thanksgiving mass to Sacred Heart of Jesus offered by Ratan and Geraldine Thanksgiving mass to Sacred Heart of Jesus offered by Peter and family and for the repose of the soul of Maria Ma offered by family members in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred sacrifice let us call to mind our sins and ask God's pardon and mercy I confess to Almighty God and to you my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my most grievous fault therefore I ask blessed Mary our virgin all the angels and saints and to you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the Lord our God may Almighty God have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life gathered here. Christ have mercy on your people gathered here. We confess we have sinned in thoughts and word and deed. Lord have mercy on your people gathered here let us pray almighty ever living god direct our actions according to your good pleasure that in the name of your beloved son we may abound in good works through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Kindly turn to page number 223 of the New Testament, a reading from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 19 to 25. Therefore, my friends, since we have confidence to enter the sanctuary by the blood of Jesus, by the new living way that he opened for us through the curtain, that is, through his flesh. And since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us approach with true heart in full assurance of faith, with our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast to the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who has promised is faithful. And let us consider how to provoke one another to love and good deeds, not neglecting to meet together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another, and all the more, as you see, the day is approaching. The word of the Lord. Psalm 24, verse 1 to 6, from page number 587. The earth is the Lord, and all that is in it, the world, and all those who live in it, 
for he has founded on it on the seas and established it on the rivers who shall ascend the hill of the lord and who shall stand in his holy place those who have clean hands and pure hearts who do not lift up their souls and what is false and do not swear deceitfully they will receive blessings from the lord and vindication from the god of their salvation such is the company of those who seek him who seek the face of god of jacob a response such are the men who seek your face o lord kindly stand for the gospel acclamation Your word is a lamp for my steps. Your word is a lamp for my steps. And a light for my path. And a light for my path. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark Gospel according to Mark chapter 4 verses from 21 to 25 on page 38 of the New Testament Jesus said to them Is a lamb brought in to be put under the bushel basket or under the bed and not on the lampstand For there is nothing hidden except to be disclosed nor is anything secret except to come to light let any one with ears to hear listen and he said to them pay attention to what you hear the measure you give will be the measure you get and still more will be given you for to those who have more will be given and from those who have nothing even what they have will be taken away brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus the disciple comes to his master and asks this doubt master what good work should i do in my life to be always with god to make always god be with me i see in the scriptures how god was with abraham how god was with moses how god was with david the king of israel because they have been chosen for a particular cause what is the cause for which god has called me and the master looks at the disciple and tells you follow your hearts the deepest inclination of your heart our lord jesus describes that we all are like the lamp that is to be giving light to others in the scriptures we read again proverbs chapter 20 verse 27 it says the human spirit is the lamp of the lord the human spirit is the lamp of the lord searching every inmost part on the other side also again in the scriptures we see how the jewish mind thinks about light light as the inner beauty of god light as god's very presence in our lives that's why psalm is beautifully tells in your light we see light lord in your light we see light and so the very purpose of light is to dispel the darkness and make path to others make way for others that's the reason why again we read in the scriptures your word is a lamp unto my feet and so this calls that the purpose for our living is this not for our own selves we need to have this purpose filled life that i am not for my own self the talents the gifts all the gifts that god has given to me has to be multiplied in us 
so that I serve the people who are around and that brings purpose and meaning for our life only comes when I spend my own self generously for the needs of others and that is why the Lord says you cannot hide your lamp under the bushel but rather make it exposed so that people will come to the light to the truth to which God wants us to come and we cannot we might be tempted to hide ourselves from the consequences of evil of sin closing our eyes from the consequences of sinful living would only harm us and so always living in light would give us greater freedom would give us greater joy than living in darkness and so let us ask the Lord in this Eucharistic celebration who has given so many gifts to us may we also share it with others in a way that they can come to the light Jesus himself Pray, dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Praise and glory for His name, brother and mother of all His holy church. Accept our offerings, O Lord, we pray, and in sanctifying them, grant that they may profit us for salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection and so with the angels and all the saints we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim Hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord Hosanna in the highest you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, 
which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We Death, O oh Lord. And profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Bala, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, the way the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, our patron, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who is able to save the world. May this make me a body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ from eternal life. Let us sing. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those invited to the supper of the Lamb. I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Oh uh-huh. 